A common related rates question that is asked is the shadow problem, or you may have heard of it as the light post problem. So let's take a look at one. A man six feet tall walks at a rate of seven feet per second away from a light that is 15 feet above the ground. Let's first label what we know from reading that first sentence in our image. I'm going to start by just kind of moving this man to the side because I need to label his height. So here we go. We know that the man is six feet tall, so I'm gonna go right back to where I had him at, and let's label that as six feet. The man walks seven feet per second away from a light. So that means the distance between the light and where he is, so this distance right here, I'm going to call X, is increasing at a rate of seven feet per second. Our notation for that would be dx dt is equal to seven feet per second. Now, why is it positive? It's because that distance is increasing. If he was walking towards the light post, then that number would be negative. The lamp post is also 15 feet above the ground. So we can go ahead and label that as 15 feet. Now, what we have here is we actually have created two similar right triangles. We have one large right triangle. Let me go ahead and label that right angle. And then we have a smaller right triangle that you can see down here. It says, when he is 10 feet from the base of the light, at what rate is the length of his shadow changing? So when he is 10 feet from the base of the light, that is a moment in time information. So I like to indicate that that is for a moment in time when the distance X is 10 feet. So when he is 10 feet from the base of the light, at what rate is the length of his shadow changing? Shadow would be from here to the end. I'm going to label that as S for shadow. And that's because as the light shines along the man, the shadow would be reflecting behind him. And it says at what rate is the length of his shadow changing? We are looking for ds dt in this problem. So we need to think about, okay, what would we use in this particular situation in the shadow problem. And what we're going to use, because I had mentioned it earlier, these are similar triangles. So what you can do is you can set up a proportion. Similar triangles have the same proportion of the height divided by the base. So if we set up that proportion, let's look at the large triangle first. The height is 15. Divided by the base of that large triangle is X plus S. Now let's look at the small triangle. The height of that small triangle is six and the base of that small triangle is S. So here we've created a proportion of the height of the large triangle divided by the base of the large triangle equals the height of the small triangle divided by the base of the small triangle. What's the best way to solve a proportion? Cross multiply. Let's go ahead and do that. 15 times S equals, and as we cross multiply the other way, don't forget to distribute the six. Subtracting 6s on both sides gives us 9s equals 6s. All right, it is at this point that I am going to differentiate. That means to find the derivative. The derivative of 9s would be 9 times ds dt. This is a related rates problem, so I'm differentiating everything with respect to time. The derivative of 6x is 6 times dx dt. All right, what do we know? We know that dx dt, well, we had to find, or that was in the problem, that was seven. So nine times ds dt, that's what I'm looking for. So that stays as a variable, equals six times seven. That equals 42, and I divide it by nine. Therefore, ds dt is 14, thirds, and we always want to put a unit on that, and that would be feet per second. All right, so what does this even mean? This means when he is the moment 10 feet from the light post, his shadow is increasing at a rate of 14 thirds feet per second when he is 10 feet from the light post. Okay, let's look at another question that sometimes shows up with a shadow problem. When he is 10 feet from the base of the light, at what rate is the tip of his shadow moving? So that would be located right here. This tip right there, at what rate is that tip of the shadow moving away? Well, this problem seems like it would be difficult, but it's actually not too bad. Why? Because we already know the rate that X is changing. That's seven. 
and we already know the rate that s is changing, that's 14 thirds. All we need to do is simply add those two together, and that would tell us at what rate this whole entire distance right here, which represents the tip of the shadow, would be changing. So we simply need to add those. So let me write an expression that would represent this. So the speed that the tip is changing with respect to time would be a combination of the rate that x is changing plus the rate at which the shadow is changing because the tip is made up of both the part x and the part s. So let's add them together. We had 7 plus 14 thirds and that gives us an answer of 35 thirds. Again, we need that unit in there and that would be feet per second. So again, what does this mean? This means when the man is 10 feet from the base of the light, the tip of his shadow is increasing because the rate is positive at a rate of 35 thirds feet per second. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.